Morning, Marcus. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Did you, did you sleep well, my lord? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a... I'm on alert. <laughs> Ready to right. handle the day. I got a couple Let's... hours. You know how it is. Oh, it's just a few. That's better than two. <laughs> Isn't a couple literally... Never mind. Different... <clears throat> Different, you know, cultures will say a couple means a <clears throat> few, more than a few. So, Interesting. more than two. You've done something different with your hair today. Or you could say a couple. Hmm? Ah, just looks... I don't know. It's not bad. I got a haircut. That might be oh. it. <clears throat> Looks good. <laughs> what, did they shave off a little bit too much? No, 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 it's fine. It's good. Leaves it open for growth. <clears throat> <laughs> they did take off a bit too much. Did you believe I cut my own hair? I haven't done it in a long time, though. Didn't have to tell me. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to say anything, because, <laughs> you know, looking like a homeless straw man. Uh, but, Thanks, Marcus. You know. Um, plans for today. Of course, man. How are you looking? Plans for today. Um, right. Well, first things first, um, get a little breakfast going in case Olena or uh, anyone stopped by. <clears throat> I think she'll be around today, but I, as of today, I ran the, I ran the figures for the wall. Right. And... Things are not looking too good. We don't even have an income of stone I... anymore, do we? We don't have an in incoming stone, because the dwarves had, unfortunately, <clears throat> left. Which means there's still uh, stone and maybe some iron uh, still sitting in that quarry. And there's no one to protect it or do anything with it, really. Except maybe the Radard men. But the Radard men were pulled to the front. So there would only be maybe a skeleton crew uh, there. So we don't... The Carter's Guild is busy with both the war effort and refugees. Mm -hmm. So they're busy as well. <clears throat> We're going to have to find something else for the quarry. If I, I don't know what. If I convince the barons to let Tang handle it, he's probably the best person for the job, but they have this disdain for him. Tang... <clears throat> I don't know why. Like he wanted to help, but then decided he didn't didn't go. I don't know. <clears throat> it was a it was, con it was confusion. Good morning, morning, Jack. It was confusion. Oh, yeah, he a... misunderstood. I mean, and to have him, he's a good way of gathering resources. I'll talk with him if I can, yeah. but I don't really have much pull anymore. So out of stone, and <clears throat> the bitchest one is wood. I've run out of wood. Don't have a wood cutter. Okay. So right now the walls are well. Like one section is half done. It could still <clears> be scaled <throat> just with effort. How much wood do you need? But also the gates for the two entrances that are widely open. We do not have gates currently for those. I have thirty-two I units of wood in the forge. Oh, we're talking <clears throat> hundreds. Fuck. We're talking a lot. Okay, so we need a way of gathering the wood. We need a woodcutter. So I'll... I'm going to need your help today. Okay. I'll do <clears> a favor. <throat> Later today, I want to find a good number of people, and it kind of stays within the group that we pick, to go out there. I think it was the logging camp. So later tonight, I think there's a lot of wood just sitting there. With no one to pick it up. Okay. Because efforts were made in the past, but they were wiped out by both robber baron men and orcs. Just completely wiped. Surprised they didn't take the wood the for themselves. Yeah. It's <clears throat> it's too heavy. Okay. It's just sitting there. <clears throat> so the, these are literal trees that have not been processed. Okay. Right. 
So that's the only reason anyone would have left all that wood sitting there. And there's a lot. <clears throat> so we need people who can see in the dark. Right. People who can sneak around. So bring maybe Lisa. <sighs> we need to go off the road because those are being watched at the moment. We'll need <clears throat> Sigvana later today. I'm thinking evening towards nighttime. That'll be the best approach here. Okay. I'm going to need... Oh. To sanction this, we're going to need one of the guard. I'm thinking uh, Stefan. Stefan? I think Stefano. Stefano or Fenton, yes. I suppose. Yes, we're going to need him later. Oh, in. Okay. Uh, Stefano. Okay. Stefano. We're going to need him and a few, just a few good men and <laughs> glasses. If only there were a few good men around. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> you do. We're running slowly out of those, I'm afraid. <laughs> we are. How are you today? Did you sleep <clears> well? <throat> More than a couple hours, which I learned today is two. A couple is two. Um, I, I did get a few hours of sleep, yes, but I was mostly on the roofs watching the road coming into from the <clears> north. <throat> a lot more injured coming in than we thought. Also, some very hushed words about you and your father, I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah, I heard. Oh. Sure. <sighs> so we People know... taking the defeat too well. Mm. We know yesterday they were at, what was it, Cross Keys, which Pass means cross they're keys. very close. They're past, that means they're dangerously close to the embassy, <clears> which, <throat> uh, if I recall, was that pulled out? Is that, is that empty? Or is that The imps will be retreating. For, they would have left yesterday, so it would be empty now. Oh my god, it's empty. <laughs> Fuck. That's a really good stronghold for them if they take it. Well, but it is a stronghold. But if they pulled out all their stuff, there's no cannons. There's no <clears throat> any of that stuff to help hold it. Right? Here's the plan, Still, and it's obviously, a place where they can take their wounded. This stays between us. <clears throat> of course. Alan's current plan is to do a fighting retreat, slowly bringing himself back, and he will take the embassy. From there, okay. because he stations himself in the embassy. The robber baron can't push up his siege equipment to attack Nortus directly because he's too close and he will risk Arn sallying out and destroying them, which he needs. <clears throat> so Arn will hold out for as long as he can until we figure out a way to turn the tides again. Obviously that stays okay. between us. Ears are everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's good that the embassy is empty right now. If he hasn't already claimed it. But fuck man, that means... We're running out of men, <laughs> good men, <laughs> to yes, fight the good fight. We are. Oh, shit. There we are. All right, I'll get uh, myself, Lisa, Torty, you, you. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be later in the day. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just I'll thinking. I'll let you know. Um, uh, yeah. Aegon. <clears throat> we don't want to be too large, do we? It'd be good oh, if we then. got into a fight. <clears throat> no. But... It would okay. also be good for carrying around the wood. Uh, and good uh, old Daniel. Yes. And if yeah. here's the thing, I will be going in armor, and so is Daniel, for the sole purpose that if things we don't want to, <clears throat> I want to say, here's the thing: there may be people there. I have no idea. There may be orcs. There could be anything. If we need to go loud on something. For whatever reason, if we are caught unawares in the dark, because if we can't see, we, we still need like a lantern or someone to guide us. Right. If something finds us out there, fucking strider, orcs, anything, we need men who in plate, at the very least, <clears throat> who can deal with big threats. Yep. Put ourselves in front of you and anyone who would try to fucking kill Between them. you, you, and Harry, then yes. That should be plenty. Right. And Torty, myself, Lisa, and Sigvana. Right. Agreed. I think that's a good list. <clears throat> oh, just to fill out the uh, the drow trio, I suppose, uh, Mr. Tiberius. Oh, I suppose, yes. <clears throat> I hear he's pretty skilled with a blade. Very. Uh, could come in handy. We'll do that. So that's my current lineup here. Right. Uh, I can take lead on this, or... Oh, okay. after you. By all means, let me know what you need me to do, and I'll be there. <laughs> take the burden off you. Uh, I can hover you today, make sure 
fucking the streets are becoming more dangerous now yeah. because i <clears throat> haven't finished the walls anyone could just walk in from the robber baron camp plain clothed into town yeah and who the fuck knows you are lord son which means you're a target <clears throat> I'll this keep my armor on then throughout the day. <laughs> and I'll try to be with you. Right. I don't have much that brewery <clears throat> should be done. Yes, Is I went key. down and saw. It looks very <laughs> good. There you go, man. Uh, we could do morning run or kind of spread off, do our things. and Let's uh, split up. I need to... There's actually something I'd like to... Just a quick thing I want to ask okay. you about. Go ahead. I'll see you in a bit. Yep. So, I was approached by a few, let's say, concerned, uh, a few concerned citizens. Was banging at the door. One moment. <clears throat> Always something, isn't it? Oh, you have no idea. Listen, if we want to give favor back with the citizens, the Aired Hearts need to rescue Ladia. I don't need to tell you how difficult that is. We're working on plans, though. <clears throat> I know. I've already got a few of my own in motion. Gonna you get to gather some information? <laughs> Try not to. Oh my god. Jeez! Uh, <sighs> By Asara, what the fuck yeah. happened to you? Get him inside. What happened to you? He, he just showed up like this. Oh, God. Come, on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get you seated. No. No. No message. <laughs> I'm in <Okay. clears> toilet. <throat> As you open up the missive, man. Kyler, you see blood laid across it. As you read it, read it at a quickened haste, you recognize the writing immediately. Again. Notice you read and it follows okay. the front palisade uh, walls. Oh, understood. Never mind. Square, and people begin filing into the clinic. The silence is broken by the yelling of men as the wounded return from the front. Okay, carry on. Sorry, Brent's is talking to everyone. <clears throat> there we go. As you begin to read through the missive, you see the writing is done at a quickened and hastened pace. In a rush, clearly, but it is your father's handwriting. You look at it carefully. You see the front front line has fallen. All soldiers have retreated. The plan is begun to be enacted over by the emissary building. The next coming days, for now, it seems the catapults won't push forward. But do what you can. Fuck. Uh, what's the matter? Front line uh, scrubbed. Was, uh, <clears throat> bunch of problems. Oh, oh shit! Do we do we go? What do no, we do? the plan to take over the embassy is taking effect. Get him a drink. Do you need medical? Okay. Take yes. No. <clears throat> we were fortunate. The Lord lent me his horse and I was able to get here easier. We lost many though on no our right back. Some of us got cut off from the retreating to the keep. Uh, there you are. <clears throat> How many Thank did we lose? You. I'm not sure. It's impossible to tell right now. Right. We lost. I would have to speak with the sergeants and then get word back to the keep to see how many. There were a couple hundred men out there. <clears throat> you lost even half they were of quick them. and decisive. You never saw those oh, bastards. <sighs> okay. Enact okay. what you need to do today. Get me when you need me. Gather the people that we need. Sunset ish. <sighs> right. <sighs> Yeah, around there. I'll, I'll let you know, my lord. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> I need to get a status quo. Sure. <sighs> Here. Have your blade. Uh. 
<clears throat> I know you said we pulled back, but there's a lot of blood on you. It was fast and decisive. Most of this is more old from the night before. Um, here's a bucket and some cloths. Thank you. Yeah. Robert Baron knows we're weak right now with the, without the Imperials. We gotta come up with a plan to rescue Vadia soon, or we're done. Well, it doesn't matter what the about do. that. <clears throat> we have one crazy man who's already on that, but I don't know what he's gonna do. It's uh. What do you mean? It's... Well, you remember yesterday, my lord, uh, Sir Exter. I don't have much stock in Sir Exter. I see. What, uh, what do you want about? What's he done? <laughs> oh, ran off. um... It's a knight of Ireland. Stole a horse and some supplies and ran off. <sighs> or maybe that was his horse. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Either way, the fool's gone off to rescue Lottie and he's most likely dead. You remember me. You did good. Were you informed? Vaguely. <clears throat> I'm trying to find one of the sergeants. Tiberius came back to town on your father's horse. He's the one that Gates said he me. saw him out there in the battle when he returned. Yes. Mm. Good. Well, any of the carts to help any of the wounded on the road, sir. Fuck. Those men are getting too close. Far too fast. We'll do any chance they can to steal any of our carts. Keep your eyes on this street. People are gonna get rowdy. <clears throat> of course. As far as they're concerned, the barons are failing them, and the lords, no offense. No, the it's rumor is see. that the Urhards are because of this failure. Morning, Arca. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? Great. Have you gotten told? I have. How bad is it? Hello. The roads are now extremely unsafe. <clears throat> they were pushed back into the embassy. We had an agreement with the Imperials that they would vacate the embassy <clears throat> and we'd take over. Agreed. I know. And we did, but we didn't have enough time to fully secure it. Many of the men who were stationed on the front as a decoy are now dead. Does that mean I'm right? Does that mean I'm okay? Does that mean... I see. They managed to hold themselves up, but we won't be able to get to them. <clears throat> They've pushed past the embassy. I, I am good. I'm, I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Have it surrounded now. Yes. Th thank you. Yes. I, I appreciate that. Okay. And the bright side. Um, as long as we hold that embassy, they can't push up their siege engines. It is a The longer they hold out, the better it is for us. Yes, I'll fill you in on some smaller details about that later. The front is closer. Wait a minute. Anything we can do from here? The... there's a few things, but I'd rather not discuss them here. Alright. Get yourself situated, come and find me if you need me. 
I'll be around. Understood. Going tits up. Gotta get out of here. Now the loop again. A salty oh, sun drama. Must come down there. <sighs> Worse than we think. The new placard. All but crumbled. They pushed past the embassy. <clears throat> Remember what I told you about yesterday. Excuse me. About what we're telling people. Right. Keep it light. We stuck with the salty term. Understood. Seems like. That's less than a port town, as you expect. Either we're gonna have to be here there in the he is. Of a, uh, gonna have to fix something. A good else. meal and a nice Mark. mug of ale. I haven't uh, been in town give it to you if you can tell me a nice story. How are you, Hopper? Most marriage included. <laughs> Gradia is the realm of shell swords. Eat you. Yeah. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, tired. We can imagine. It's <clears throat> yeah, it's been a lot. Yes, well, are you and yours safe? As the village. I haven't been out there in days. Can't really get out there, unfortunately. Okay. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Yeah. I haven't heard any bad news. I'll... Thank you. Uh, I take it as no news is good news, hopefully. How's Iron Dune? He's on the front right now. I haven't been able to speak with him directly. Go, Bum. I assume you. Anything I can do for you too? Have you been mm. appraised of what's happening? <clears throat> Unfortunately, not. I suspect it's not good news. We can talk if you want. Very well. <clears throat> Please. How much? Thirty-five copper. And. <clears throat> we are um. On a bit of a sinking ship right now. Well, that is unfortunately to be expected, given our positions. Last night during the fighting, the robber baron made a quick and decisive attack. They pushed the front lines back, and they're now past the embassy. Lost another lot Just... of good men. <sighs> the upside, and this part stays quiet. My father has taken residency in the embassy. He and several good men are going to hold it for as many days as possible. While they're there, the robber baron will not risk his siege equipment pushing up. We have a few days of grace period. We need to figure out how to turn the tides in this. <clears throat> May I ask why you wish to keep that quiet, my lord? It could be seen as a victory <clears throat> if you spin it, right? I'm hesitant to... Uh, Put it out there, Robber Baron, his men are everywhere, and if I can, I'd like to use it if the lords corner me and try and force me to say something positive. That can be my trump card. That's very true. It's likely there are more than a few <clears throat> infiltrators among us by now. Yep. But everything that's been happening. Very well. I shall keep quiet on that part. Still, doesn't bode well for the rest of us. No. Just more bad news for people to hear about. Exactly. <clears throat> we need a win. An actual fucking win. Well... I wish I could offer more than just kind words and hope you are, you succeed, but... I still have not been able to see a man. No. He's been cooped up in the keep. He hasn't called any council meetings, at least none that I've been aware of. So either he's mm -hmm. within himself, or he is excluding me completely. <clears throat> I'm afraid I couldn't tell you which. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he's a bit paralyzed at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot to take in. Facing the destruction of his family and his dynasty. I can really hardly blame them, man. Okay. Well, I appreciate the news, Lord Earhart, and I uh, will 
course, inform you that I've already begun trying to uh, spin things <clears throat> to better favor you and your father. I can't promise much at the current moment, but, well, give me a few days, maybe a week, and I can at least, you know, turn I just it around. I don't want to get so shanked in an alleyway at this point. <laughs> I, as bad as it is, Lord Hellheart, I doubt anyone would be stupid enough to attempt that in broad daylight. People are not that desperate yet. Not yet. But we are getting there. We are getting there. Okay. If you can find any way that we can raise morale and put it on the Erhards at all. Um, we have some coin to spare if we need a donation of something. Uh, anything that can help turn the tides a little bit. <clears throat> Make it seem more favorable. I will certainly give it some thoughts, my lord. Good uh, lad. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Well, if you need me, and if you come up with anything, find me. I'll be around as much as I can. Thank you, Gerber. Of course. Yeah. Interestingly enough, is completely unmanned. Tartak made of the game. Except by Radard soldiers. It's really fucking furious. No, I don't like to think about it. Oh, oh no. What? I remember. I said what? Imperials are no longer helping with the... Hardtack, honey butter. Amazing couple. Though, when you're being hardtack, recommending is soaking it in whatever butter, kale, something... Isn't that Lord Edward? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Planning to stand against a whole army by yourself. Everyone else is walking wounded. <clears throat> I will inform you what we're doing today, but, um... Sorry, I don't know who's feeding information to the Robber Baron right now. Let's step a little further out. What we have in reaction to what just happened, well, our commanders need to talk still. <clears throat> well, what we planned for today, yesterday, two different things. Things that we set up hidden in the woods. We have guards going out there to relieve who was there to get information from them. Whether they can get there and back without being killed, we'll find out. The Vakar is out there and right now. A Lord is going to relieve him. Maybe Stefano is going with him too. I'm staying here. The other thing is we received intelligence that they plan to attack the stone mine today. We don't have forces to spare for that, so we're hiring as many mercenaries as we can. <clears throat> we barely have a skeleton crew. Okay. <clears throat> Those are the two major things today. Okay. At sunset, roughly, uh... A small group of us, and either you or Stefano, are going to make our way to the Woodcutter's Lodge, since we are fucking out of wood. Apparently, there is a large surplus there. We're going to try and sneak our way there, gather as much of it as we can, bring it back to town so we can actually put some gates up. That's the plan, at least. I understood. <clears throat> so if you see Stefano... If you don't think Stefano, you have enough people, find me. 
Of course, I'll one of you needs to be here, or well, one of you needs to come with us at least to end a uh, bit of legitimacy to it. <clears throat> Got it. <sighs> Fuck. I'll talk with him as soon as I can. Appreciate it. Expect to see them coming over the hill any minute. That's the thing. They don't want to attack the town until they're ready. They don't want damage to any of the infrastructure here. They want the threat of damage. That way we capitulate. Allow them in. When I spoke to the Robert Baron a couple of weeks ago, he mentioned that he was hesitant to use his siege engines on the keep as falling rocks would fall into the city proper. I don't know if he's still hesitant to do that, but, well, something to think about, I guess. He needs to be ready for what's going to come after the Vipex. <clears throat> no matter who wins, we're going to be fighting them. Yes. That much is almost assured. That's why it's important that... If we can, we capture the robber baron and offer amnesty to his troops. I fear if we kill him, he'll become a martyr and they'll keep fighting to the death. That's a tall order. Yeah, Very tall one. Do you think he ever leaves behind his lines? Of... Uh, I'm gonna take a guess, maybe 700, 800 people. Many of them highly trained. He certainly knows what he's doing. <sighs> Unfortunately, the hinge is with Lady Heidemann. The Imperiums can't get back into the fight soon. We've lost. That's the end of it. It is. And I don't know how long your father will last in the embassy. <sighs> a couple of days at best. It's a great fortification, but... They have no reason not to shell it. <clears throat> God. I'll keep you up to date on anything the Verdads plan to do. Thank you, Fenton. Be safe. Safe as I can be. You've looked for a new, uh, weapon? I'm gonna go write another letter to fucking Bull and see if he answers me. Oh, really? I think you probably should. Morning, I'll be back. I'll be back later tonight. You expect I'm gonna be fighting you? You look tired. Been up pretty much all night. Never know. Wow. No, no, no. So imagine if you're being told to fight. You know, what is it specifically that keeps you up? Paperwork. Is it the <clears> war? <throat> is it the shit down beneath? Paper. Oh, that sort of thing. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a responsible staying up. Not the, uh, I can't sleep because I'm feeling tormented. Lack of sleep. Well, probably both. Sometimes I wish for the tormenting just for a change of pace. <laughs> I saw your, uh, father from the front as I was riding in. How's he doing? Ah, very true, very true point. 
That man has the, uh... <laughs> that man has the lungs of a lion. He's still screaming, still hollering, still waving his sword around and rallying all the men to him. He was in a coma two days ago. How? What happened? <clears throat> I was... Well, you know how he was tasked to protect you guys. Obviously, it didn't happen. Dragged him back here. He was in and out. They didn't know if he would make it. And then, <laughs> overnight, he wakes up and immediately goes to the front. I didn't even get to see him. Ah, that's Lord Arnold for you. That it is. Um, Lord Erard. That it is. Oh. Excuse me. I have uh, something to talk to you about later, but... Sure. I can wait for now. This, I can give you one reason. Um... Going that way, you won't just be shot down by the front line. Well, that's not really bad, so bad. Um, where's Aegon? Um, it, he was... Last I saw him, he was over there. Okay, go get him. He was near the road, but he came back in. I don't know where to, though. Yes. Go. This fine individual uh, came to report that they heard a disturbance in the middle of the line. Everything is so unfair. <laughs> that our bedroom window, the latch and everything, which I quite easily put up, is busted in from the outside. When I opened it, it wasn't really a window so much as what seemed like a crawl space to the other building. So right. I opened it. I had Aegon actually come in with me and look around because I thought somebody was still in the house. That's why I'm saying he's my alibi. Kill everyone! No, okay. Don't say it. Come on. What are you teaching her? Ignore her for the moment. I, I, I didn't teach her that. Some guy on the dock with basil or whatever was teaching her that. I'm trying to get her to not say it. If anything, I'm trying to teach her practical stuff. Kill everyone! Hi. Okay. Hi. Maybe, maybe don't say that very loudly. You don't want people to get the wrong idea. Yeah, don't. 
She's already said that like all morning. <clears throat> so I don't know how long Squint did. Pull on four. Can you say good morning? Close enough. Have either of you seen uh, Marco kind of today? Marco? Uh, I think that's. I, mean, I didn't see where he went, but he was just here a second ago. Alright, thank you. I have an idea. I always keep it in hand. If they try to steal my shiny coins. Here's a bundle of carrots. You could try to... Things are getting worse. They're up on the wall, or near the walls. Mm. So, as as I get that, whatever uh, plan we're doing... I'm going to figure out another way for and you. And if the, uh, the Lord likes, uh, okay, the Noble likes what I put down inside the arena, then she's gonna hire me to, uh, uh, to uh, to uh, What to now as the man helplessly <laughs> attempts to chase down? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God, man. Uh, hello? Hey. Did you hear about the murders? Murders? No. Yeah, a guard came in asking if uh, we heard anything in the middle of the night. Three people dead in their homes. No, I was not informed. Hey, gun. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it was Did near the corner where the courier lives. To the house. Just and when we turn to our own home. Do you know who? Well, yes, and room. then. No. Okay. Oh. So I need to know. Welcome back. Uh, it gets oh stuck a little bit there and doesn't let you come down. Yeah, the, the no, hinges Marcus need a little bit of oil. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> How are you today? I'm doing alright. I, um, had a talk with, um, Bez. It was pretty good. Good. Aegon, he's gonna stand there menacingly, or...? Which usually is what I do, but not out of, uh... <laughs> he's perfect. pretty good at it. Just habit. Have any of you seen Marco recently? Marco? Ah, uh, this morning. I was five like... minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I did too, and now he's fucking vanished. I'll get to the lane. Well... Oh, yeah, he had headed towards you at the north gate. Uh, Mother want me to check his house? You can get into it. I have a key. No, if you don't mind. Joy's being homeless. People let you into the places. Give me a second, I'll be back. <laughs> I didn't realize you were homeless. Okay. Yeah, my my home's kind of, you know, on the front lines currently. Right, right. Yeah. You're not homeless, you're just home impaired. 
Yeah, it's been that way for a while, though, to be fair. Because orcs and shit. Well, if you need somewhere to uh, stay, just ask. I appreciate it. I've got a few spots, thankfully. Uh, oh, wait, give me go. one sec. I'll go check. Around in a little bit. Sorry? Uh, I think he's got company. Oh, okay. He'll, uh, he'll be around in a little bit. No worries. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. No problem. Never to fear. There's plenty of good men to stand between here and there. So, are you going to fight? Wow. If I have to, <laughs> but a lot of good that I can do will be here. I have way too much money. <laughs> Just <laughs> learning. Fire. I'm wondering. Oh, Horsey? Please, no. <clears throat> Please, no. She's saying, uh, oh, no. Gucci. You know, the. I believe he sells cheese. Bussy! I know, I, I, but I am a knight. I, I am civil. You like I that stuff? I believe in the tenets that uh, men should protect uh, the ladies. You honor. like pussy? <clears throat> Send us into harm. So pussy good. No, the, the, the man. That goes for women and children. Bucci. Bucci. It was a bitch. I know, call me <laughs> a in and a bit out there of is right now. You uh, shut the fuck up, I fish. Believe, I heard that. Fuck. Why can you say fuck with, with the C in it? Uh, CK. But we can't say a C Y. Uh, I mean, C I. Way, fuck. You know, you got me fucking up. Is God damn you it. learn how to do uh, medical <clears throat> treatment. Uh, <clears throat> help those who are injured get back. My morning is ruined. Is that your horse? Hence, those it's of my father's. Are in the nature of taking care of people, so you'd be very. A little gaudy, isn't it? Is Have you seen the imperial good. horses? They literally paint the fucking the horseshoes. Okay, okay, listen, listen. They're red. That is fair. I've seen. I know. I. But like, listen. Your father could do better. I think it's pretty modest. You could do better. I will actually. Yeah, it's true, it doesn't have the don't same let, let uh, pop. You know, the, the Imperial colors are that absolutely blinding red, and it, they certainly love to complement it with no... <laughs> no, obviously, no le less of gold to, you know, go along with it. It's a little ridiculous. Yeah, they even paint their boats. You know, one of them has a fucking horn on it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> How much red paint do you think they go through on, like, a yearly basis? It must be... If you're a red paint salesman... <laughs> In the Imperium, you must be making so much fucking money. Uh, it's good to see you. Take care. Let's see, I remember one time when we painted the roof of the Merchant's Guild. It went through about... Hello, Bucci. Three buckets, maybe worth? So if you painted also... I'm pretty sure they painted that fence, so if we're, if we're gonna do some real heavy numbers there. You painted the fence, every single boat, and those godforsaken fucking galleons out there. I'd say probably well, well, well worth about 50 buckets of paint. That's a small number. I was gonna guess a million. Fifty buckets of paint? Well, we, 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 like, like a BS bucket. Yeah, I'm not talking like, like a barrel that of paint. Shit. That's like a barrel of oh, paint. Oh, a barrel of paint. Okay, now we're talking different. I'm yeah. thinking like buckets worth. Because I was remembering oh, the time when we painted the roof of or like yeah, hog's head. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Marcus, I need your opinion. 
The Imperial horses, okay, yay sure. or nay? <laughs> Like all the, all the armor, all the gold, all the red. It, it's the most gaudiest fucking thing you've ever what, seen. Why? Right? Me? Do I do I do I look? Impi- do no, I look you've already got my. Yeah. Tim, we yeah. talked about it. He's already got my opinion. Oh. Uh, they their horseshoes. They paint their horseshoes red, like their horseshoes. Oh wait! Oh, that's they, they horseshoes. Horseshoes. Um, they paint them red. I'll say, really? What's, you think they what's do your like a definition of? Gay. Yeah, they like, they, they, they like, they like lift up their like horse hooves and just. That is what a farrier does. Like but that. Are they, are they happy? Is that it? it that's what you mean, right? Are, are they it's happy? Not me. We're at the Imperium. We're here to help. <laughs> my lord, are you oh god, girlfriend, you kill uh, it. Look at you go. God damn it. <laughs> Slay. Yes. God. Fucking slay, Lord, uh, Lord Erdhart, I support you. Don't also, start. Did, did a Damien Gray uh, never track? stop? No, not yet. No, this sounds well, he was... This is where Bucci leaves. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. As I say, yeah, don't Gosh. let me sit on certain conversations like that. Oh. Good day. Well, then. Hey, it was a pretty official business uh, for you. Uh, it's, I'll try to find them if they're looking around. Oh, is that the, uh, scribe? I don't think he was a scribe. He had mercenary gear, but not of the mercenary's guild. But he said he is on official business. I'll have to reconvene official with him. from who, though? How are you today, Elena? It's been a while. Hmm. Tired. Yeah. I know the feeling. What else is new? Yeah. You like horses. The noise is keeping us all up. Oh, it's <laughs> no. I do. Okay, so like the Imperium has Random horses. Segue. Yeah, I know, but like the Imperium has horses, right? But they paint the horseshoes red. Like, it just seems very extra. It is considering they'd probably take at least five steps in the paint with Chip. Exactly. Those weren't the words you chose, but all right. That's not the words I chose. That's fair. I simply came to check and see if you needed anything. I think I'm okay for no, that, now. That dwarf is eyeing you. But, yes. If you need me, just call for me later. Of course. I'll probably be in the house, studying. Thank you, Elena. Let me know if you need anything, too. I need a good fucking nap, a good book. And an endless bottle of wine and a day off. <laughs> Aye. I'll try to get more from the markets. Uh... You can try as much as you want. We're not drinking together. My lord. I, My that's lord. Not what I... Lord Padero. <sighs> I'm looking for a moment of your time, Lord Edhart. Of course, behind closed doors, or...? Only if you prefer it. It is uh, the business we discussed uh, previously. Come on in, Marcus. Would you get us a drink each, please? I... Yeah. <clears throat> I'll make a drink while I mull over what the hell Mr. Gray wanted. I think. Oh, I thought they were going somewhere. Never mind. Oh, well, doing fine. <clears throat> Hmm. Very nice. How can I be of assistance? Of course, I try not to take up too much of your time, my lord. I was curious. I wanted to see if there was any progress about uh, getting me situated here and notice as uh, master of ships. <clears throat> mm. As the agreement that we had once the war was over. Uh, right now, the Imperials are using the the warehouses. Mm-hmm. So unless you want to go up against them, we don't really have much room right now. But there is the vacancy. Ah, no, no. See, my lord, that's not going to work out for me. See, I'd heard that Belerno was lost. The robber baron is gaining ground. 
And personally, I couldn't care less who is in charge. I just want what I was promised. Shipbuilder in town. Very lucrative, you understand. Mm. And I need to be in that position Here's some before... Nice ale. Thanks, <clears throat> Marcus. <clears throat> right. Mm. Only the finest we have. I... Definitely wakes you up. As I said, I need to be in that position before not this falls. Or if it falls, if you prefer. At least... That's how I see it. Well, now we're changing the agreement a little bit, aren't we? I can't promise what I don't have, and right now I don't have the waterfront. The Imperials do, despite them not even being involved in the war. Trust me, I understand your frustration. I'd much rather have you there than the Imperials, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. yeah. I see I didn't get that read on you, my lord. When you dealt with the others in Cosedo, <clears throat> I saw you to be very aggressive. Yet you maintained your candor. A very good balance to find in the noble. And as I said before, I wouldn't be supporting the ruling regime, Robert Baron, Rodod, whoever. I'd be supporting you. <clears throat> you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Mm. Makes sense. Excellent. I would be a personal ally, my lord. One that would do all that I could to see your goals fulfilled. Within the power I would wield, of course. But... But... If you lose control of the situation, and you lose the ability to place me in it, then all of a sudden, <clears throat> you lose a potential ally, and I lose out on business. To lose, lose. Agreed. So obviously, I wouldn't do it purposefully. <clears throat> mm. The general populace and the barons themselves see these recent failures as a Erhard failure, rather than the Imperial's diplomat getting herself captured. For some reason, I don't have much sway politically right mm. now. But rest assured, my promises still keep. Have you even tried speaking to one of the barons about this, my lord? Baron Amem apparently has been shutting himself away. He hasn't called any council meetings, and most of his advisors haven't been able to reach him. <sighs> and the other? The younger, Kovaz? Kovaz is... more... Well, he doesn't have as much sway, but I assume he's very similar. I could attempt to, but... Again, he's very mm. pro-imperial uh, right now. He wouldn't want to uh. lose out. Well, this is an unfortunate state of affairs, my lord, but ultimately I can see the sense of what you are saying. Hmm. Trust me, no one is as frustrated about this as I am. Very well. All right, then, I will take it that you've not actually attempted to approach the Barons about <clears throat> my appointment, but you maintain you will ultimately when you have the ability to sway them. Correct. Mm. Very well. Then I will, uh, at the very least, urge you to speak with them, which for one, I don't care as soon as possible, to at least start this process. Mm. I'm sure there's some... <sighs> rigmarole we have to go through. Oh, many hoops. And I don't want to have to, you know, have mixed feelings about my promise to support you personally. <clears throat> that is all, my lord. Yep. If we are going to do this, I want to make sure it has the best chance of success. As I have promised to you, this would happen. I don't want to mm. rush into things and get a no when we could bide our time a bit and get a yes. After all, End of the day, you don't really care who's in charge. <sighs> Very well. I shall take you at your word, my lord, as a sign of good faith. Thank you. If there's anything I can assist you with mm. in and about the town or whatnot, do let me know. Very well, my lord. In that case, I shall take my leave of you. 
and wish you luck in your endeavors. Thank you, and you. Mm. Put out one fire, three more start up. <laughs> Heard that. Gods. What's the current plan? Four. <clears throat> well, per that last meeting, I guess there's a couple of outstanding... Unless everyone was in agreement there. There's a couple of outliers, right? The things that I have promised to these people, the things that I have agreed to do, I stated in that meeting that it can't happen until the war is over. We don't have that sort of okay. pull. We don't have the resources to do that. <laughs> right. As for Shoot. Ladia and the other ones, uh, the Imperials are set to handle that, as far as I'm aware. Fuck. Yeah. At least that was going to be a thing, but then, oh gosh. We'll see what happens. Okay. This fucking um, missive from Arn. <laughs> the front has crumbled. We've fallen back to the embassy. Do what you can. Yeah, do. <laughs> 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 it's not unlike him to just drop everything on you and make you, I guess, see what you do, right? That's a good learning experience in the end of the day. My, right now, my focus on this foray tonight. If we can get this wood, we can start building gates, which will help us a lot in a siege. Apparently, um, there's also a planned attack by the Robber Baron on the stone mine today. The Redolds don't have the men to spare, but they're rounding up as many mercenaries as possible to try and divert the attack. So, if you... Oh, I was... Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead, sorry. No, oh, go ahead. <clears throat> I was able to talk to Bargo today, luckily, thank god, he might save us some time here, uh, to go with a bunch of soldiers to the logging camp to make sure it's safe. And, like, just kind of do a patrol, mm -hmm. see what's going on. During the day would be better, better eyes, and then, and hopefully, tonight, see what we can do. Right. So I'll receive word from him. In about maybe an hour from now, see if he comes back with any word. Okay. I didn't know. Do you know Bargo's a minor noble? I don't recall who Bargo is. <laughs> he wears a hat, has a book, works for the oh, Carters Guild. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a noble. I I had no idea. <laughs> you know. Um. Well. You never. With that, do what you need to do, oh, oh. get me when you need me, and I'll be around, okay? Sure. <sighs> oh god, there's a bunch of blood now. Um, I'll clean this. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> My lord, I just remembered. <clears throat> Mr. Damien Gray uh, was with, I believe, one of the... Barons, they wanted to talk to you about an official response to the city of Karana. If you wanted another, I guess, one last go at, like, clearing the place. To get it back up and uh, running, like, officially. We don't really have the men see. for it right now. Right. He wanted to, oh yeah, for further incursions into this damned city. Um, I wanted to know if you, or obviously your father, had any plans for that. Um, so if I see him, I'll let him know you are around. Alright. Thanks, Bob. But, like you said, we might not have all the manpower. Right.
morning. How's it going? Good morning. I take it by every so often and I offer it to get and offer to some of my clientele. And since you are one of my clientele, a forward gift and a housewarming gift. So, fortune has it. <laughs> of course, fortune indeed. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll gladly oh. put this in the residence right now. I've got to get to working on a few other splints because a lot of crazy shit's been happening this morning. I feel like I'm going to be needed uh, uh, in a little bit. Though. Come with me. Ooh. Ooh. I know a lot, a great deal of men that have come back from the war front and anything. How how bad is it, if I may ask? The surgical point of view, how is it? Uh, how are the repairs on the sword coming along? Tomorrow morning. It's steel, so it takes a little bit longer, but I've managed to get enough resources at least. Good. I'm... Trying to be careful since I know, you know, all of it. What do you mean? Well, who they used to belong to and such. I don't want to make bad work. I want it to be something good for you. Hmm. I see. I just had a talk with a, um, very upset. Drow. Just now. Which one? I'm sure you could hazard a guess, but... They actually ended up giving me a tip-off. There's a woman. A hooded woman. In the dread knives. Someone who has a lot of... Kills under her belt, I think is the words he used. Someone who knows how to fight has been searching the rooftops where my drow friends tend to hang out. I see. Do you know anything about that? <clears throat> what are his plans? I don't know what his plans are. I don't think he's going to touch her. Or, well, his goal is to kill them, right? Yeah. The, the, the dread knives in the area? I don't know. He said he had some things to do in town. I'm not sure if that's one of those things. It's not. Until then, just be careful. <sighs> of course. I've been told that they are riddling the streets. Quietly, of course. Can I help you? You are not the one that I saw go in here. Uh, forgive me. Ah, one moment. Uh, looking for an elf, black and white hair. Oh, speaking of. Pardon? Did you need something? I can... Uh, you said speaking of... Without present company. Certainly. Thanks. Uh, I'll handle that. Sorry, oh, I have to be the one to say it. I'm not exactly. Oh. You want to talk about it? Uh, I don't think I should. But. Although I will have a long conversation with a uh, a tall, 
lot of moonshine. As my patrols, I hear frequent peasants muttering about the air hearts and how they've done nothing but lose. Oh. Is that, is that what you Sunday think growing, House uh, Erdhart is? A bunch of losers. That's what the peasants seem to think. Hmm. I see. Well, I think somebody was knocking. Around. Yes! They have a package for you. Oh! <laughs> business, business. Yeah. Hey, come on in. I'm sure you caught that. Yeah. Nothing I didn't already know. Common word is... Right. <laughs> yeah, come in the back. It's getting worse by the day. God. <sighs> what can we do, right? Fuck all, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we'll cling together and we'll make it happen. Uh, yeah. You know. yeah. Same as usual. So that's the and wall that's half done. What with your people pulling out, it's not bad. Not going so Can't well. even put any defenses on it. God. Yes, I suppose that's what happens when we put all of our faith in a little girl. <laughs> yeah. So, I was actually looking for a little bit, uh, something for personal protection. Hmm. Well, some supplies that could be used for daggers, if for what you mean. I'm thinking more, perhaps you could get me something. Such as... You got any of those, uh, like a pistol of some kind? Holy fuck, Michael wants to get straps. Very big <laughs> deal to move around. I'm sure you know that. This is already difficult enough to supply this I product. could make it worth your while. Think about it. How worth it? This is a very looked over... Item. Trust me. But anyway, uh, yeah, what do you have now? <clears throat> Currently, I have about two steel daggers, the blades at least. I have four pairs of leather gloves, which are perfect to use for gauntlets. At least right. the insert for one. Four small hafts. And two iron ingots. I mean, I haven't been able to move any of the uh, weapon grips recently. It's more... Like the iron and every steel and everything that actually ends up just like being able to get rid of it. How much you want for a lot of it anyway? Hmm. Normally, I'd sell it around 18 silver, but as a favor, I'm willing to drop the price of it. <laughs> Get him a purse pistol. Only those little purse guns, like a. <laughs> for you. Oh, a little deal. Fourteen. Well, fourteen, and we drop the discussion of the other item completely. Ah, uh, you know, why is that? It is the highest. Th there is no way I could sneak that out. That would ruin me. It is closely looked after. Even if I attempted to take it, it would get found out before I was out of the boat or the embassy. There's no way. Not even for 
I do have this pepper spray, however. I would rather not be burned at the pyre by the Inquisitor, thank you. Don't get me wrong, I like business, but I like living as much as the next person. Oh, it's your loss. <clears throat> So, 14 silver. What was it all again? So we got four halves. Four small halves. Two iron ingots. Four pairs of leather gloves. And two steel dagger blades. You can have a slower. Hold on. Four halves. Two iron ingots. I don't have iron on this list. That's steel. Alright, so two iron. Uh, where the steel... This photo show? It's nice, yeah. Steel? Yeah, two steel dagger blades. Okay. Okay. And four pairs of leather gloves. Alright. Are these pairs of gloves left-handed or right-handed? Show inserts for gauntlets. <laughs> All right. Thank you for doing business. Look forward to a future business, and I hope you understand. I don't mean any ill will by denying such a transaction, but. Like I said, I like living as much as the next person. Well, it's worth a lot of gold, yes, your mind, but living gets you If you, you get the gold. opportunity, I am here. Seven lefts and one right. <laughs> uh, that'd be the kind of shit that Mark will sell, so. Hey. Enjoy your day, Mr. Morgul. And if you need me, you know how to find me. Oops. Go a second. So, what do you need? I yeah. just wanted to check in with what we, we talked back, about uh, yesterday. See how you're going with that. All right. <sighs> I'm willing to do it. I just need to procure myself some armor, I guess. I would really like a Night Stalker potion, but uh, can't seem to get any of those. I had one, I'd get one for you. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any hiccups or snags, that's all. So it's, uh, fuck. Shit's really bad on the front. We need to do something quick. Just figured I'd check in. Yeah, I was talking to that, uh, other drow fellow, the, uh, the, the one that disappears just a little while ago. <laughs> right. I, I should have asked him if he could, like, you know, lend me one, but I didn't want to, like, be an under, you know, his yeah, thumb or anything like that. that's smart. You don't want that. But he was saying that, uh... Just saying that the Dread Knives are probably the ones buying all the ones that Wainwright's bringing in. Okay. I'll see what I can do about that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just wanted to check in and... Also, watch your ass. <sighs> yeah. Everyone wants to fucking shank me. Like that one. Really? Hello, sir. Oh, hello. Have you seen the one known as Clifford? Clifford, um... Last place I saw him, he was here buying some stuff. So I would check his brewery. You know where that is?
you weren't allowed to work in the church, and if you couldn't work on a boat, what would you do? Oh, fuck. Uh, what would I do? See, people probably would think mercenary, because I know how they use a sword and stuff and all that, but it's like... Some blind dudes looking for you. Fucking idiot. What's that? Some blind dudes looking for you. Blind dude. Well, I really don't have the time to be looking for him now. I'm uh, gonna be heading out with the mercenaries, seeing about getting stone from the quarry. Be careful. I'm gonna try to stay in my hand as best as possible. The. Say to move stone. Intel suggests that the robber baron's gonna do an attack on that today. Be careful. <laughs> I understand. Hey, listen. I'll continue to fight with your father for as long as. But if the robber baron's men come here. Start on the city. If they get inside, hmm. I'm laying down my over there. I have too much to care about. To constantly fight them. Protect your family. Bring these people home too. Hmm. Don't worry, I plan on it. You wouldn't be smuggling drugs, would you, Maron? Look, I know you're not so many people in this county who are not going to pay for this. Oh, oh, this is, um, this is very Mr. L. I'm kidding. I'm very drunk. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go on, you scallywag. The main character. Really, though? They all die by a fire problem. Multiple identities and personalities. But things could just get so much simpler. How are you faring? Oh. And probably as good as I can be. Thought I'd get its armor off. Treat any wounds that are on it. Did very well. Thank you. You don't have to thank me, Taylor. If anything, I'm partially responsible for everything right now. Did uh, Marcus get to talk to you yet? No, I haven't heard from them. It's the I came in this morning. <laughs> um, might be something for you later tonight. So if you're up for it, just tell me where, young lord, if you need my assistance. Of course, it's the least I can do.
Sen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are perfectly safe up here. Uh, What's that? Have you worked for this person before? Morning or good day. I think it is exactly are you? midday. Ah, congrats. Do you just sell candles or something more uh, fun? I sell soaps, smelling salts, candles, colognes, pipe weeds, fish nets, ball gags. Anything to spice your fancy. Is this Vinci's good vibe shop? How uh, good is your pipe weed? It's good, it's homegrown. How much for a unit? For a unit is for a copper. Two units. Two units. And, uh, if you have a pipe, maybe that would help. Ooh, I can do that for you. Put that in there. The two units. Anything else? That is all, thank you. I'm sure I'll come back soon. Alrighty, alrighty. You if you ever day? need anything, I'm always here. Don't let me forget, eight copper. I'm eight copper poorer. Don't do it. Alright. I will talk to God and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It's a take care, stranger. That is my house. Would I never thought I'd find myself relatively dreading the thought of the or the reality of Imperials pulling out an artist. Hmm. Good day. Oh, I'm not interrupting anything. Hmm. Nothing Need what? Something. I do actually. I'd like to talk to you if possible. Yeah, sure. Um, so you didn't, uh, you know, say anything about, uh, Vezzer in that report, did you? Of course not. Okay. And what about me? Any business that Vezzer chooses to have with my father will okay. be with my father. They have spoken before. I see no reason they can't do so again, so long as I am the one to invite him there. <laughs> All right. Guy's name. I don't think I've ever actually gotten it before. Cryptic, uh, hooded figure. Looks like he kills for money. Yeah. Uh, I've already forgotten your name, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Legal ways. <laughs> it's okay, I'm very forgetful. My name is Sevatar. I think this is the first time we've properly right. interacted, aside from a few passing by. Yeah, I mean, we that we've had meeting encounters at the tavern and stuff like that. So. You do have your conversation. You get your name back then. Yeah. Hmm. So, I was wondering if we could talk uh, somewhere a little more private. 
Ooh, yeah, sure. Come on. Thank you. Don't know anybody who's looking for like imperial um, surplus, military surplus. What do you have? Uh, a lot of inserts, a lot of uh, weapon handles and such, mm. and uh, well, a couple blades for steel daggers. Nothing assembled though. Mm. Imperial steel. Hmm. Don't come across that easily. Yeah. I won't ask. Anyway. I am looking for a person. I heard that you have uh, ways to contact this person. Oh, who? Uh, someone who goes by the name of Frogfoot. Ah, Frogfoot. All right, so. What do you need from him? I'd like to meet him. Ideally. Just contact? Mm. All right. Uh, I could try and set up a meeting for you. Tell me when and where. Uh, I got some warnings for you, though. Mm -hmm. He really, really, really doesn't like it if you don't do what he wants. How so? He's also nine feet tall and can crush you like a grape. <laughs> I would have thought they would have seen this person around. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it gets out much. Right. I'm a little terrified, actually, when you put it like that. <sighs> and he seems to have a lot of friends with a lot of money, so... That's exactly it. I've heard that uh, this man can get me things that I might need. Things that are a little hard to procure. Things like that, yes. <sighs> Maybe I'll ask him for if he can help me out with one thing. Um, one thing that I'm looking for. Who knows? Anyway, um, you want a time crunch here? Not really. Just any time in the next, I don't know, couple of days. Not really too uh, under the hammer. Oh. Oh, so you want to go out at the front or the back? Either or, whatever you think is safer for you. I didn't even realize you had a back. It's new. Hmm. Well, good day, Markle. Pleasure to uh, properly meet you. Yeah, good day, Sovitar. Dude, we're fucking neighbors! <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs>